डॉक्टर राजेश चावला सीनियर कंसल्टेंट रेस्पिरेटरी एंड क्रिटिकल केयर मेडिसिन इंद्रप्रस्थ अपोलो हॉस्पिटल न्यू दिल्ली एस्थमा इज अ डिजीज ऑफ द लंग इन विच द लंग ब्रीदिंग ट्यूब्स और द लंग पाइप्स आर इफेक्टेड वेयर देर इज अ इन्फ्लमेशन वट इज अ स्वेलिंग देर इज अ इंक्रीज प्रोडक्शन ऑफ म्यूकस एंड द ब्रीदिंग ट्यूब्स दे गेट नैरोड एंड वेन दे गेट नैरोड द पर्सन हैज डिफिकल्टी इन ब्रीदिंग एंड दैट इज वॉट इज ब्रॉन्कियल एस्थमा asthma attack is when a person who is a known patient of asthma gets the symptoms which can vary in severity they could be mild or they could be a severe person can have cough severe cough can have tightness in the chest there is a wheezing or a whistling sound there could be a chest pain he cannot speak sentences if the severity rises he can not even talk properly he is perspiring and that these are the symptoms based on the severity like mild patient may have just cough simple tightness in the chest or a mild breathlessness as the severity rises the symptoms also rise but predominantly asthma is a disease where person has a uh, respiratory symptoms asthma is caused by nothing it is occurs in a genetically predisposed person most often asthma can occur in a person who is genetically predisposed like both the parents have asthma there is chances the child may have asthma this is one of the commonest sometime it can trigger like a person has been exposed to the viral infection in the childhood that can also trigger asthma but it occurs in a person who has a predisposition for asthma everybody cannot get asthma asthma is a respiratory disease so breathlessness which may occur only twice a year which may occur twice a month which may occur twice a week or which may occur every day so the symptoms can vary in various individual it is not a continuous disease to begin with particularly the person has a intermittent symptoms where he gets breathing disorders like difficulty in breathing tightness in the chest cough which could be associated with some sputum and when the severity rises then he may not be able to speak he may not be uh, able to even lie down properly and he is fighting for breath so depending on the severity you have symptoms of asthma if a person control his asthma well then they don't deteriorate but if you do not treat asthma well then over the years you start getting continuous symptoms asthma is treated uh by drugs by the change in the lifestyles one has to know the 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 treatment of asthma properly then you will be most of the time asymptomatic it is our duty as a physician we teach to the patient what is asthma and you should ask your doctor how is it caused what is it so that you can control your asthma well now it is asthma is treated by inhalers that is the primary treatment and there are two forms of inhalers which one is a bronchodilators which will widen the breathing tubes and ease out the breathing and the second are preventers or anti inflammatory which decrease the swelling or the inflammation in the airways you know it is the swelling or the inflammation in the airways which makes a person predisposed to symptoms like if i have an inflammation and if i come in contact with any of the trigger 
I will get symptoms. So if I keep my inflammation under control, even if I come in contact with the trigger, I may not get symptoms. So it is very important to control your inflammation. Anti-inflammatory, the commonest form is a steroid inhaler. People are scared that I should not take the steroid inhaler. But this is the best treatment for decreasing the inflammations. Although there are other tablets also available, but this is the and you should take the minimum possible in, con, in consultation with the doctor which controls your symptoms. So this is the most important nowadays is the anti-inflammatory. And even now nowadays it is said even for intermittent symptoms you should take an inhaler in combination with the bronchodilator which has an anti-inflammatory drug in the form of the steroids. They are in a very micro amount. You know, uh, the, 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 the dose in one puff is in microgram. So it is not harmful. The only thing you have to do is if you take steroid inhaler, you rinse your mouth so that it doesn't stick your, to your throat. It doesn't cause any side effect. So these are the two major pillars of the, the bronchodilators which give immediate relief but they should be taken as little as possible and the main treatment is the anti-inflammatory. If you have a very severe symptoms, not getting controlled, then there are biologics which are available now, little expensive, but they can control. And if your symptoms are, you are taking all these, still you are uncontrolled, you should consult your doctor whether you are fit enough to take biologics. Asthma can be a mild, moderate and severe. Then mild can be a mild intermittent. Like a person gets a symptoms off and on. It is never more than once a week. That is a mild intermittent. Like you get little symptoms and they get alright. This is a mild intermittent. Then mild persistent is when a person gets symptoms almost every day. More than two times a week and can be up to one per day but it should not be more than that and moderate is one person is getting severe symptoms or the symptoms every day he cannot sleep he has a problem sleeping that's uh, uh, that is a moderate and severe is when person has a continuous symptoms every day he keeps on suffering and that is a severe asthma like he has a symptoms every day he cannot sleep he has a cough and uh, he needs the, the reliever drugs more often. So these are the severe asthma. Diagnosis is done by the symptoms, but the way person presents like they are intermittent respiratory symptoms and it can be confirmed by a test called the pulmonary function test, spirometry where you have to blow into the machine and then after giving a bronchodilator again the test is repeated and if there is a reversibility is seen then you say that it is a bronchial asthma. These, this is the most important test which any person who is being labeled asthma must get it done. You know when you are asymptomatic in between if you get it your spirometry may still be normal but it is better to get the test when you have symptoms because then you can diagnose it better and there are other tests also which are not very commonly done. Today we discussed about bronchial asthma which is a respiratory disease causes respiratory symptoms which could be intermittent which could be continuous and the main treatment is done by the bronchodilators and the anti-inflammatory. If you take it properly and if you control your asthma well, you can lead a normal life. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay informed. If you have symptoms, please contact the doctor. Thank you very much.